A passenger jet pushes through a shroud of white as it takes off from Chiang Mai. This isn't low-lying cloud, it's fine particle pollution, known as PM2.5, and it's been hanging over northern Thailand for the past three months. Chiang Mai Hospital has been inundated with patients complaining of breathing difficulties, rashes and skin irritations, but doctors say the problems are much more serious. PM2.5 can cause brain tumors and heart and lung diseases, but it's rarely identified as the root cause. When we write the death certificate, we say that uh, they die from cardiovascular disease. We never say that uh, they die from PM2.5. That, that is very difficult. But are they dying from PM2.5? Yeah. This is a big part of the problem. Shrubs burnt off in the forest that cover the whole of northern Thailand by the villagers that live in these areas in the hope that the ash left behind when the monsoon rain comes will leave fertile ground for growing mushrooms and other vegetables. But it's the mass burning of agricultural waste, sugarcane and corn, that's the real culprit. Large agro-businesses take the end product, leaving farmers to burn off what's left behind. This is happening across Thailand, Myanmar, Laos and Cambodia, making the region one of the most polluted in the world. Nitipon Pimao chaired a parliamentary subcommittee on PM2.5 pollution. It recommended the government subsidize farmers not to burn their waste. But nothing happened, and he thinks he knows why. The problem is because of the, the big company. They support some parties and also support the military. The Prime Minister himself braved the smog to go out campaigning. There's an election next month. Prime Minister, you said you'd answer the question. You had eight years in power. Why have you done nothing about the pollution? This nursery school is having air filters fitted. Pollution this bad can cut life expectancy by three to five years. Children are particularly vulnerable. But as they settle down for their afternoon nap, even if it's only for a couple of hours, these kids will finally have clean air to breathe. Tony Chang, Al Jazeera, Chiang Mai, Thailand.